Hello, this is uh, Maths with Lemon and uh, in this topic we will see the rates of change and uh, specifically we will see an IB question. Many questions that uh, there will be on the exams will be this kind of questions depending on rates of change so let's see one of them. Now, it says the following diagram shows what a pie uh, a frame that is made of wire it could be a pie it would be whatever kind of shape like this one the total uh, length of uh, wire is equal to 15 centimeters the frame is made up of two identical sectors of a, cycle, uh, of a circle that are parallel to each other. The sectors have angle theta radians and radius r centimeters. They are connected by one centimeter lengths of wire perpendicular to the sectors. This is shown to the diagram below. Uh, now, so we have this kind of like pi, which is from uh, wire. Uh, and the questions here that I will have, if you will see them, basically, when you will have an exam question, you have to very fast read the questions. But basically, you must see some key points. Which are these key, key points? One is that I have derivative of uh, volume in terms of theta, and then something, again, the derivative is equal to zero. So, uh, let me go back to the problem and see which, which are the basic elements. So, the following uh, diagram shows uh, a frame of uh, wire that is made, a frame that is made of wire. The total length is equal to 15 centimeters. And the, the frame is made up to uh, two identical sectors of a, si of a circle that they are parallel. So, I have a sector also. The next most important thing that you have to notice is that the sectors have angle theta radians. So I'm talking about radians. Very important. Many students will make a mistake here because they will use formulas that they are connected with degrees. But here, as you see, it is in radians. Very important. They are connected by one centimeter, so basically this part. So now they say, uh, the first question is, show that uh, r is 6 over 2 plus theta. Irrelevant of that, how much is it equal? I just need to find r. Now, the information that I have to use is that it says the total length of uh, wire is equal to 15. So if I will add all these parts, it, it must be equal to 15. So what I should say that 15 is equal what? This part and this part. 1, 2R, 3, 4R, plus 1, 1, and 1, which is the wire that connects the sectors. So 3, plus, so I added this, let me just note it, denote it here, this one, this one this one, four hours. I add one, two, three, and now that's what left is this part and this, which basically is the uh, the length of an arc, which is the length of the arc. So the length of an arc is r times theta in radians. So because the problem says in radians, so it's r times theta. How many uh, lengths of arc I have? Two. So basically it's going to be 2 r theta. So now let me, now this is simple algebra. So uh, 15 minus 3 is equal 4 r plus 2 theta, sorry, r theta. So uh, 12 is equal. Now here, 
because I, ho I want the expression how much is R. So basically I will take common factor R. R and inside it's going to be 4 plus 2 theta. So R is 12 over 4 times 2 theta. But you see I'm very close, 6 plus 2 theta. So let me uh, factorize the denominator. So it's going to be 2 and then 2 plus theta. Simplify it, so I will have 6. So it's 6 over 2 plus theta. That's it. So we, find, we found what A wanted to find, so that R is that. Uh, now, let's go to the next question. B. Find an expression for V in terms of theta. Now, the V is the volume. So, the volume is what? Now, I have a sector here, which is like, I want... You see this sector. So to find the volume of this part of pi is what? It's going to be the area of this whole sector times the height. So what I need to do is to, uh, the volume is going to be the area of the sector times 1. So for B, I will have the volume. It's going to be, now, the formula of the area of uh, the sector is being given in the formula book delayed is 1 over 2 r squared times theta times 1, which is the height, which is going to be, now, it says in terms of theta, but I have r here, but from the previous question, I found that R is that, 6 over 2 plus theta. So I just need to substitute 6 over 2 plus theta square times theta, which is going to be, now it's al uh, algebraic uh, calculations, 36 times over 2 plus theta square times theta, which is going to be, let me simplify, that's 18, 18 theta over 2 plus theta square. The simplification is not necessary, but if you want, you can do it. Next uh, question <laughs> says, Find an expression of dv over d theta. So very basically, I have the volume. How much is the volume? And I need to take the derivative in terms of uh, theta. Let me write it down. So basically, v is equal 18 theta over 2 plus theta square and now I just need to find dv over d theta which is what? Now we'll take the quotient rule the derivative of the numerator which is 18 times the denominator 2 plus theta square minus 18 theta times the derivative of the uh, denominator which is it's a composite, so 2 times 2 plus theta times the derivative of the denominator which is which the, of the inside, which is uh, 0, 1. So it's 1 over 2 plus theta to the power of 2, but to the power of 2, that's the quotient rule, so it's to the power of 4. Now, let's see. 
You see, I can take as a common uh, denominator, uh, as a common uh, factor, 2 plus theta here. Eighteen two plus theta minus two times eighteen thirty six theta over two plus theta to the power of four simplified uh, now. I have 36 plus 18 theta minus 36 theta over theta plus cube, which is 36 minus 18 theta over 2 plus theta cube which is what? 18 2 minus theta over 2 plus theta to the power of 3 and that's my derivative is this one simple simplification for the problem. Now, solve algebraically. That's why uh, here I have uh, problems many times because the many students the algebraically part to find the value of theta that will maximize the volume. So I just need what? I just need to say that this one is going to be equal with zero. So dv over d theta is 0. It means uh, 30, no, 18, 2 minus theta over 2 plus theta cube equals to 0. Now here in this equation, we have to think smart. Is there any possibility this one to be zero? No, because a fraction over zero is not uh, defined. So the only thing that can be zero can be what? Only the numerator. So basically, 18, two minus theta should be zero, which means 18 cannot be 0, so 2 minus theta is 0, so theta is 2. And that's the solution for my problem with the pi.